Church sideline is that uh, we're moving into a new computer system now. And uh, that will be, uh, actually the system will be up and functional. Let's, let's put it this way here, technically functional, uh, in, uh, you know, at the end of this month. And what that means is now we've got to know how to use it, and, uh, which, is a, which is about another three-month process. Uh, but we'll have crime analysis, which will be second to none in it, of any other police service in this province. <coughs> and we'll be able to tell you exactly where crimes are happening, the patterns, the time of days, uh, kind of all the similarities in the analysis of that. Uh, so we have four people now assigned specifically to crime analysis. So whatever information you can get to us, and if somebody's not answering your phone, make the call and get it to us one way or the other. If you're not happy with that service, phone the commander, phone my office if you like. But we need to get that information out there so that we're actually accurately and, and timely collecting that information so it will help us in our analysis. Will we have access to that information? And if so, what what part of that information? Uh, but you won't have uh, too much access to it uh, because if you have access to it, that means everybody else can. So that uh, uh, so that we have, there's a... Uh, well, why, should, why shouldn't everybody have access to it? Well, I, I wouldn't want to provide that to the people breaking in. Uh, you know, they're not going to change the patterns on. That's, it's usually information that's specific to us. But well, is breaking a big part of the problem? Yeah, like where I'm from, I'm having a big problem with vandalism. Yeah. So would we share some information? Can you let us know where you're from? What, what's your I'm, name? I'm up in Acton. Yeah. And your name? My name's Al Kerouac, and uh, I've been like thousands of dollars worth of vandalism. Yeah. And have you reported and it? Of course I've reported it. The two different occasions I've had it happen. Yeah. And all I see is a lot of emphasis on speeding and drunk drivers, of which I've checked the uh, statistics, and they really aren't that great. It's not a big concern of mine. What is a concern of mine is my property being protected in my community. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, you have to reflect on the concerns you're having and how we're handling it, and if there's issues specific to you. Well, I think it's specific to the community. It's not because I, I see it happen. I'm reading about it over and over again, yeah. and the think, same occurrences. I think that that's one of the reasons... As I said in the beginning, when I talked with Jeff Knopp, it was communications, but it was also the feeling of personal safety and what happens when we're living at the end of a long laneway and we can't yell to our neighbor or bang on a wall or do something. It's not isolated to little communities, hear. though. It's, you don't have to be in a long ring. You know, it, it's happening in small communities all over Halton Hills. Well, yes, but we're specifically but that's in, rural, I'm only in the rural about. area. It's a very specific threat because you are more remote from any other person around you. So it's a very different kind of issue in the rural area than it is when you can, like well, I said, look into the next Well, in the rural area, there's not supposed to be that many, you wouldn't expect that many police, but where I'm from in Acton, there are a contingent of officers there. The other day I drove home and there was three sitting in Tim Hortons. All at once, and nobody else. There. It's no, not that, funny to me. It's not funny no, because you know why? I pay ninety you know bucks what? extra a year for a thirteen point one percent increase, and I don't see it. Do you know what, what I what, is, what I'm also paying is a thousand dollar deductible on my insurance. But you know so what? where's it going, and what are you doing about it? You know what? Three police officers sitting in a Tim Hortons doesn't mean your community is not being protected.